Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop YouTube channel. I'm your host Mohamed Adam with another cool video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your iPhone or iPad camera to take the picture. Interesting, right? Now this video will be a little bit long because I have to show you, uh, you know, using a certain tool I will use, I have to show you actually taking a picture because using the simulator you cannot take a picture, right? Uh, so let's get started. So I have this very basic application. If you see the storyboard, it just consists of the UI image view control, uh, which we'll be using to display the image. Okay. And if I run it, actually I do have to run it on the iPad, and I'll show you later. Uh, the reason that I'm running it on the iPad and not my iPhone is that I have iPhone 3GS and the software, the call reflection that I will be using to take uh, to basically show you the actual picture taking part uh, that only uses iPad uh, iPad 2 and I think uh, iPhone 4 iPhone 4s and all that so I have iPhone 3GS yeah I'm poor so let's go ahead and run this application so you'll have a little bit of idea of what the application looks like so here it is uh, simple nothing really being displayed you can see the UI image view it's kind of blank nothing being over here uh, so let's go ahead and add a, a button for our uh, for a camera okay so I'm just going to create a UI bar uh, item and I will say camera item and UI bar item and then uh, do we have a uh, airlock and then um, What is going on? It's just so freaking slow. So UI bar button item and uh, it's tremendously slow. And then this is a camera button item equal to UI bar button item. And we have a uh, So we are just going to use the init with bar button system item, UI bar button system item. So we can say UI bar button system item type camera, and it will automatically get the image for the camera for the button uh, target itself. And in this case, the selector is, uh, we're just going to create a method called take picture. Okay. Now I'm just going to implement a little bit of uh, take, actually we need to, uh, set it out self dot navigation item right and um, you can say set right bar button item and then we can take the camera button item and let's go ahead and implement also the uh, the take picture part just a function I mean just a method uh, signature not really the implementation uh, let's go ahead and run this and you will see that now on the upper right hand corner you can see the uh, camera icon being displayed. So the camera works with the UI image picker controller okay and in order to work with the UI image picker controller uh, you must uh, use the delegates so the delegates that are required so UI image picker controller delegate and then UI navigation controller delegate that is required and we'll see later in the screencast that where you capture the events that are generated from the UI image picker controller so at this point we have a button and when we click the button take picture method is being fired but it doesn't really do anything so let's go ahead and say UI image picker controller image picker controller and UI image picker controller oops and uh, okay what happened over here okay so we have this uh, image picker controller now you need to check that uh, if it has a camera or not because there are certain devices that don't have the camera uh, for starters there is the iPod touch maybe second generation and maybe I don't know if what generation I have but I think second and third maybe they don't have the camera so we can check over here 
um, that UI image picker controller and then you can say is source type available uh, and you can check the UI image picker controller source type UI image picker control source type camera so if it does have a camera okay okay that's gonna take some time now because this is so slow Camtasia pretty much it's killing me over here um, don't think we need that okay so if it does have a camera you need to adjust something you need to set the image picker controller uh, the source type to the camera if it does not have a camera which is else you want to basically allow the user to select from a photo library okay whatever they have in a photo library even though they don't have the camera that doesn't really mean that they cannot have anything in a photo library they can sync it with their other devices or they can sync it with their Macintosh computer to get some images in there right so in this case I'm just going to use if they have a camera we are just going to set the set uh, source type to the uh, UI image uh, to the camera basically um, if they don't have then we are going to say set source type and uh, we're going to say UI image blah 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 photo library now let me go down over here we have to accept the delegate we have to you know we have to tell who will be acting as a delegate for all the events that are generated from the image picker controller delegate and we will be it will say just self and let's say self uh, present a model view controller and image picker controller will be the part of the model view controller and say yes all right let's go ahead and run this and now we are running on the simulator so the simulator doesn't have a camera so it should go directly to the photos library and here we go we are on the photos library but now if I'm running on a I, iPad or on my iPhone so now I have to do something uh, funky so the, pro the software that I was talking about it's called uh, reflection I don't have the complete version I do have a, a little bit of trial and I'm not sh sure how it's going to behave because of so much uh, crazy stuff going on right now okay so all right so I'm just actually setting up my uh, is it even running or not I don't even know um, so I'm just going to select my iPad over here okay and let me I'm just setting up something so that I can run the reflection mirror on okay so you can see uh, okay maybe we will show this later uh, let me run this application now and let's see if so here it is so here's the actual basically actually this is the my iPad okay so I'm just gonna click on the camera itself and since my iPad has a camera you can actually see that uh, I can look and everything and I can actually take a picture of course the picture won't really go anywhere but I can all do that okay just gonna stop now and uh, going to quit reflection we are going to use it again later i am just quit reflection so that you have an idea that when you're running on a simulator you don't have the opportunity to use a camera because it's on a simulator but now when I'm running on my iPad which does have a camera it goes into this if statement and it sets up the image picker controller source type to be that of the camera okay so now um, what do we want to do now uh, I guess the, the only remaining part now is to take the picture right and let's go to our view controller dot header file and uh, go to the UI image picker controller delegate and this consists of a method which is uh, did finish picking media with info so this uh, method is actually fired whenever you are taking a picture so let's go ahead and do that we are going to implement this uh, we can implement it over here 
So info is the main important thing because that is the that will give you the image. Uh, and I can say IMG image. So this is actually the image that will be coming uh, from. And then um, info uh, object for key. And I'm not really sure what is the UI image. Uh, yeah, I forgot the real let me actually get the name it's called the ui image picker controller original image is it there here we go so we get the original image just like that and then we already have the image view so we are just going to say self dot image view and uh, set image and then img which is the image um, after that, don't forget to do this. Don't forget to dismiss the uh, model view controller, okay? Because if you don't do that, uh, your application will be stuck on that uh, camera taking page or whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's it. And I'm just gonna go, let's see if that is uh, running. Okay, so in order to show you, and I'm not really sure how that is going to show you on your side because the computer is already very slow because of Camtasia and uh, okay so we have 10 minutes to do that um, so hopefully that will work so I'm just going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my application and hopefully everything will be okay and I'm just going to go over here uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to mirror the display which is not appearing. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Mirroring on. There we go. So we have our mirroring on, and uh, let's see if I can find the app. Uh, so here it is camera demo. So here's the camera, and I'm going to say take a picture. And take a picture of these uh, beautiful money plants see and then I'm just gonna say use and here we go so the picture becomes part of uh, the uh, what is that called the it becomes part of the uh, image view and that's pretty much it so let me stop in this one over here and that's pretty much it I mean uh, uh, this is a pretty much as easy as it can get to take a picture and to display the picture and in the future tutorials uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, basically use uh, different kind of filters that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do and if you do want to support Azam Sharp channel I do accept and I do appreciate uh, all donations you can send the donation using PayPal uh, to awesomesharp at gmail.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.